Assalamualaikum and welcome to another Zilfit TV episode. Uh, this is the uh, second part of uh, Project Zilfit 2.1 and uh, the cleaning process continues. First of all, as I mentioned in the previous episode, I'm going to make this place more of a warehouse than it is a showroom. So I've been trying to sell off whatever I can and the things that the equipment that I want to keep mostly will be put uh, on the first floor. Um, the rest will probably be somewhere in the front, but the bulk of the space that we have right here will be for storage. And right over here, inshallah, what I plan to do is to put a, a platform with a storage space underneath. Um, I haven't received the quotation yet, but I've received the design for the storage uh, racking system and I think it looks good. I think it looks it looks promising and we should have ample storage space for the next two or three years uh, inshallah and hopefully we would design it in a way or we would arrange arrange all the equipment the stocks in a way that uh, should the, uh, the flood happen again there would be probably minimal damage inshallah but obviously we don't want the flood to happen again okay so i'm waiting for the quotation for that and in the meantime um, i have to bring up all this uh, equipment upstairs so that i can clear the space whenever when, when, once the decision is made about the storage space and the platform um, obviously we need the they need the space to 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 fix all the um, the the racks and um, we also have an incoming shipment probably the next couple of weeks um, that has about four or five uh, pallets. Um, it's not huge, but it's still uh, they will take some space. So, so that's why I am quite in a hurry to move some of the equipment upstairs. Now, what I have done uh, first is to clear up this space right here. So initially, I had the uh, galvanized half rack here. I had the prostate prostera rack and a couple of benches over on this side. So I had to move them away uh, the prestera half rate i actually dismantled them and actually carried them um, upstairs um, by myself uh, I, I i did that a couple of days ago as you can see um, the there's only one way for me to use the uh, rich truck to carry some of the equipment up and that is through the stairs i mean the wall of the stairs uh, that you see here uh, the, the, the other part of the, of the, the, of the f first floor is being um, bordered by the, um, the fans. Um, the, I don't know what you call it, the railings, right? So the, we cannot reach um, deep enough uh, to unload equipment from that side. And even with the stairs, um, it's just barely clearing the, the wall. And I had to use a, I have to use a ladder in order for me to actually take the equipment out and then take one flight, one flight of stairs up uh, to the first floor. Uh, but that actually reduces the amount of work that I have to do. And even so, um, it is quite tiring, right? So I've done, uh, I've brought up a few things already using the rich truck. So I've getting used to you know how best to do it uh, in terms of getting the pallet above the, the the wall and then how to arrange the the plates or whatever i want to bring upstairs because if you arrange it deep enough and then uh, in the fork then it will be very difficult for me to reach out and then pull pull the, the things out and obviously all this these things are quite heavy and i have to do it Little by little, I cannot put a lot of uh, equipment on top of the pallet. Um, number one, it would be too dangerous. Number two, it would be very difficult to get it off the pallet and up the stairs. So that is the mission for today and probably in the next one or two days. Obviously, the things like uh, the platform, I don't think that we can bring it up this way. Uh, it's, that's probably have to, we, we probably have to carry it uh, through the stairs. Um, what I'm going to do is just get the plates up there, get some of the plate racks uh, up there as well as the, the, the benches. Uh, probably one or two benches, I haven't decided which one. 
and I think that's it. But uh, just to let you know, the plan for upstairs is to have the Prestera half rack, the SVR, uh, the sport training platform, as well as the combo rack. So it's not a uh, huge space as you've seen from the, my previous video, but I think we should be able to fit uh, four stations, uh, so to speak, uh, up there. So I'm eager to see how it will look like upstairs uh, once everything is done. I think one of the biggest challenge would be to bring down uh, the desk and some of the furnitures. Um, it took a few people to bring it up the stairs uh, when, I first, when I first moved in, but obviously I'd like to use the uh, rich truck if I can, else then I need a bunch of people to help me bring those uh, furnitures down. So all these furnitures, inshallah, will be put on top of the platform that I will be, be, be having in the near future. Um, so everything needs to be, you know, um, uh, everything needs to fall in place. Obviously, I can just bring down the, 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 the furniture, the desk, but it will be sitting right in the middle of, the, of the, the ground floor. And I'm not too sure whether that will take too much space for the people from the rack for racking people to come in and, and fix the rack. So that's why I prefer that, you know, uh, once I confirm the order for the racks, then they'll build it and then um, we'll just bring down the furnitures uh, onto the platform straight. So that is the plan. Uh, obviously, you know, um, we can plan, but God decides. <laughs> Hopefully everything will go well, inshallah. This might not be a lot to take up at one go, but uh, I, I just want to be safe. So this is what I'm confident of bringing up. Um, and uh, you'll see in a moment why that is so. As you can see here, I have this little um, ladder, uh, which I need because I need to climb up and uh, take the um, equipment, the plates from here and then up the, the stairs. So, um, it's not safe, especially when you're doing this alone, but uh, I've got no choice. Uh, I need to keep things moving. I need to keep myself busy. And uh, so this is what I can do by myself. Okay, so as you can see here, the pallet actually can no longer uh, exceed this particular wall. Um, because I think it's, it's already been broken in so many places and the pallet is actually pointing a little bit downwards. So I, I do not have enough clearance to actually make sure that it goes above the top of this particular wall and then I can just force it across, which I did <laughs> when I brought up the 25 kg. But it's, everything is still within reach and that's why I cannot put anything way at the back because then that will be difficult for me to reach. But small items like this, I can just reach over and then grab them and it's easy. So I think the, the hardest part uh, has been done, which is the 25s. Um, these ones are, I would say, relatively easier, inshallah. Regardless, I still have to be very careful because I am on a ladder. And this is how I did it with the 25s. So even though they're just small plates, but it's, it's very tiring because you have to carry them up one flight of stairs. I mean, or half flight of stairs. I don't know how you calculate what is one flight, right? Uh, and uh, with having one bad knee, um, it, does take, it does take its toll. Uh, but, you know, that's why I want to do it slowly and I, I want to do it carefully because I don't want to injure myself in the process. Uh, as you can see behind me right over there is the Prestera. Those I carried up the, the stairs um, along with, uh, I'm not sure whether you can see there, but the parts of the uh, Prestera half rack is here. I also brought the, I don't know if you can see, the, the new squat stand because what we'll have up here is the um, uh, performance training platform where Alam can train his clients. Uh, I'm not too sure whether I want to put it there. I want to put it uh, right over, over here. 
uh, that depends on how we design the layout of all the equipment later on. I also brought up the, uh, uh, the rubber mats for the uh, performance training platform as well. So having the rich truck actually helps a lot because instead of you know going where the storage room, carrying in each individual pieces up the stairs and then going back down, uh, that's, that's even worse, especially if you're doing it alone. Um, so uh, I think this is the best way for me right now. Uh, it's something that I can manage uh, over the weekend. Inshallah, Alam will come and help me out with the bigger items like the, the wooden platform and all the heavier stuff. I think that's it for me for today. I think I've reached the limit of what I can do. I am exhausted, uh, but I'm very satisfied in, in what I've achieved today, uh, considering that there were a lot of things that I brought up. Uh, namely, uh, specifically for today, uh, we brought up the IPF plates, the IWF training plates, we brought up the um, some of the, uh, the, the rubber mats for the performance training platform, the barbell lifter, the technique plates, uh, what else, uh, the squat stand. So those are a lot of um, stuff. And Alhamdulillah, nothing untoward happened. Uh, something almost happened. <laughs> and uh, thank God, Alhamdulillah, I managed to prevent any uh, mishap. Uh, so what happened was the, the last trip up, uh, I put the IWF um, plates and I, on one side, right on my left here, uh, it's heavier on uh, than the, the right side. So the reason is because, remember when I told you that this thing couldn't clear the wall? So I thought that maybe if I put more weight on, on the left, then it will tilt the pallet a bit so that I can just get it over that wall. So yes, it did achieve that um, uh, that particular goal, but this part actually couldn't clear the wall. Um, so when I unloaded the plates from here, this thing started to tilt to the left and thank God I I think I was, uh, thank God that I'm quick on my feet and <laughs> I just dumped back the, the 10 kg plates on this side and uh, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, nothing bad happened, right? Um, but you know, you learn through these kind of things, even though sometimes it's common sense, but when you're tired, I guess everything goes out the window. Uh, but Alhamdulillah, I, I think... Uh, uh, it was a good day's work. So, I'll be back uh, inshallah tomorrow. Tomorrow is a Friday. So we have a Friday prayer. So that means um, I got to start work um, early and then uh, take a break for prayers and, and continue right after that. Um, tomorrow what I plan to do is to bring up the benches and I'm, tr I'm going to try to bring in the uh, plate rack. Those are tall items and um, I need to figure out, without dismantling them, how to bring them up. So, inshallah, I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Thank you for watching again. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please uh, subscribe and turn on the notification. And if you like this video, please uh, click the like button. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask in the comment section. All right, guys, so I'll see you again in the next, uh, in the next Project Zilfit 2.1. Bye.